Hello and welcome to Ice Warp. In this installment of our Setting Up a Mail Server series of tutorials, we're going to look at setting up groups, global address lists, and public folders in Ice Warp. A group in Ice Warp is treated as a group email address that can be used as a distribution list. To create a group in the Ice Warp Administrator console, all you have to do is right click and select Create Group or use the shortcut Control G. In its most basic form, a group is used for only email communication. The alias you create for your group is what will be used when emailing back and forth. The description field can be filled in for your personal reference as the administrator. The name field determines how your group will show up in a contact list. If you're creating a global address list or already have one set up, the name field will determine how your distribution list will be named. After you hit save, you'll see the group has been created. If we go back into the group and go to the Members tab, there are several different options for editing our new group. If the group is intended for a very limited number of people, you can add each user individually to the group. If you want a large group of people to be a part of the group, you can simply select the whole domain. If you make a domain a part of a group, any new users you create within that domain in the future will automatically become a part of the group. New users within the domain also have a contact card automatically created and added to the global address list. There are obviously big advantages to using domain as a member when creating your group, but if you're creating a group that isn't meant for every user, you still have the option of adding users individually. The message tab allows you to combine some classic mailing list functionality within your group. You can quickly customize the header, reply to, and subject fields, among others. The Options tab lets you customize the security of your group, for instance making it so only members of the group can post new messages or password protecting the group. Lastly, the Rules tab lets you create content-based rules that can block or change the format of messages sent into or out of the group. Now that our group is set up, we can email sales at internal.com and a copy of the message we send will go to everyone in the group. Sending email is the most basic functionality of a group. In IceWorp, we've combined groups and public folders to work seamlessly together. Let's create a second group for our global address list using the same steps as we used above, but this time we'll check off the Create Public Folder box. Unlike Microsoft Exchange and many other type of servers, when you create a public folder in IceWorp, you have access to document folders, address books, calendars, notes, and so on. If we check off Deliver Mail to Shared Folder, all messages sent within the group will be stored in a shared folder that everyone in the group can access from their email. This is similar to a ticket queue in a CRM. If you want group messages to go directly to end users instead of to a shared folder, then you can leave it unchecked. If you want to make contact cards for every group member, just check off Populate Global Address List with all members. Even if you've listed the whole domain as a member of the group, the whole domain will immediately have access within the global address list. IceWorp 11 contains a new feature that allows you to organize the global address list into the hierarchical address book. This improves sorting and usability. You can also create a distribution list inside the address book. This way, when someone navigates to the global address list, there will be a distribution list automatically created to email everyone on the list. If you click Permissions, it will let you manage what users have access within a group. Right now, gal at internal.com has lookup and read access checked off. Since the group itself is listed as the main member under the Members tab, all the members of the group can look up and read all the items we see on this list, like inbox, files, contacts, etc. IceWorp also allows you to give select users higher group privileges than other users. In this case, we can take group user at internal.com and give him write permissions. Even though group user is a part of the domain, giving him special privileges trumps the privileges we've given the rest of the domain. If we visit group user at internal.com's account, we can see under our global address list folder he has complete access to the global calendar, global contacts, global files, and so on. If we look at the global contacts, we can see that everyone within our domain is listed. If these users have filled out their profile details, these will automatically be filled out in the global address list as well.
What if we want to make certain folders like global notes, tasks, or journal inaccessible to users so there isn't a lot of clutter? This can easily be done within the administrator console. Just select the folder you want to remove, click permissions, then delete each user who has access to it, and hit apply changes. If we revisit group user at internal.com's email and press refresh, we'll see he no longer has access to global notes, tasks, or journal.